Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Nate Matt Twin, and I am babysitting Pete from Pete's Treasures and Henry and Benjamin. And I'm gonna pick Matthew and Aaron up at the Palm Springs. No, sorry, they went to Palm Springs in Vegas and they've been gone a week and they're coming home tonight. So I spread out my thrift haul from this week. So I can't wait to show you what I got. So stick around. I am going to show you everything I got. I'm so excited to show you. So I ah. went to out of the closet thrift store that benefits AIDS Healthcare Foundation. I went there with my mom off of Cedar Springs in Dallas. And I actually was about to list two of these different characters called Tanukis. Those are balls. But they're a Japanese figure. And I paid $3 for it. And he's kind of cross-eyed. He's kind of funny. It's so weird because when I looked up Tanukis, you may be familiar with it, you know, Mario in his Tanuki suit. They're almost like raccoons, but not really. Um, they, not a lot of things on eBay showed up. Excuse me, I got a sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. So, $3. And I also got this. And this is a pattern that I have six highball glasses and another, like, um, it's like a big chalice glass goblet. And now I have this glass tray to go with it. I think it's called reverse painted because, well, actually not really. I have paid $5. It's heavy. I thought it could go with my set. And I wanted a benefit out of the closet. And there's only, if I run my hand around it, there's small small little chips in this certain area around the rim it's not noticeable it's hard to tell but I thought it would look great with the little set that I got so I probably have $20 into the set and I don't know it's just really fantastic don't you think this reminds me of the Ona um sorry Otagiri Mercantile Company sticker it is made by Culver just in case you know but it's in great shape the, the images. All right, another thrift store I went to with my mom is Metro Crest in Carrollton, and I only got one thing. It was a CD, Don Ho, kind of his greatest hits almost. I actually don't have any of his CDs. I have a couple records, but this CD actually sells, I think, for about $20. So it was 50 cents. So that was a great little pickup. Anything that I can make off of this trip will be helpful because I spent a lot. So another place I went to is a Goodwill with my friend James and Garland. And let me show you what I got there. I found some good stuff. I didn't think I would because they barely had anything. This was in the utensils. Anyone know the restaurant? It's not a restaurant. It's Minchi's Frozen Yogurt. I've never been there, but I thought these spoons were so cute. They charged me 10 cents for both, I think. Minchies. And they wanted to charge me two, but I said, no, it says one. This game goes for about $14, I think. But it is Jack the Ripper card game. I thought it was interesting. I might try to play it. And walking to the... Walking to the check out i saw this in the little boys clothes but i could tell this was a a full size you know human like me <laughs> it's a large it's my size and it's kind of cheap material but i tried it on it looks great on me i'm a music teacher this was 5.99 i'm so happy it looks you know fantastic and yeah it's gonna be one of my shirts i wear to work it's gonna be cool so anyways last thing i got at that goodwill there's all the boys. <laughs> but see, I just, I like doing hauls at Aaron's house because I get to repack it nicer to make my trip back to Dallas. They're playing. All right, let's get into this. This is a kiwi bird. I'm gonna try not to drop it. It's very cute and random. Now the feet are not glued down. That's something I will disclose, but I don't see any chips or cracks. It was six dollars it's basically clay with also this looks like a big rock maybe it's a hunk of clay but 
It is from a studio called, I think Crazy Art. Let's see. Crazy Clay. <laughs> Hello, I am Kiwi. The Rainbow King of Happiness created your very own African gift of laughter and delight. <laughs> so, I thought it was really cool looking. I kind of want to keep it for a while, put it in my tiki bar. I know kiwis are native to Australia, but it's still kind of cute. But actually, I think I'm going to list it no more than, uh, I mean, no less than $50. I think I can get good money for that because it's really cute. I don't know. I like the contrast of the colors. It was just a really good find. So, all right. I'm bragging. By the way, if y'all don't watch my brother's channel with his husband, Pete's Treasures, look at all the cool things they have. He got this from, uh, I, wanna, I always mess it up, Eddie, Eddie Vance and the Valiants. Ugh, I'm messing it up. And look at this little urchin light. Anyways. And the waffles. You hear them playing? All right. Anyways. Let's go to St. Vincent's. It's one of my brother's favorite places. I went with my mom. They had a bunch of Christmas stuff out. I wonder if they're doing a Christmas in July. But I found these Snapple Holiday Lights for $7. Now they go for about $10 plus shipping on eBay. Only one light doesn't work, but these mini bottles of Snapple, you can, you can replace the strings, but look at the flavors. Melonberry cocktail. I haven't even looked at these. There's 10. Grape Aid. I wonder if they make any of these flavors anymore. Raspberry iced tea. Kiwi strawberry cocktail. Pink lemonade. Fruit punch. Lemonade. We got mango madness cocktail. Peach flavored iced tea and lemon flavored iced tea. So that was a really great find right up my alley. And I actually have Pepsi bottles that my brother gave me. And now I have Snapple. I just need to hang these up. I think I want to hang them up in my office where I have all these collectibles. Benjamin. Anyways. All right. Only other things I got at St. Vincent's. Actually, I got all Christmas stuff. This was a light that works, and it was $1.39. Cute. We'll plug it in at Christmas. And they actually just had the second time that Jenny from Yes Virginia's Facebook page, they just had it on the thrifty business that Aaron and Matthew got to be the um, audience members in Jason's house. So we got to hang out with them. But this is Jimmy, which is a great brand, and he's in good condition. And it's called Toddling Toboggan, I think, because these, it makes it go, it's so cute. And I spent $7, I think. Oh no, $3.50. I spent $3.50 and I think it can go for $35. So yeah, that's really, really cute. So yeah, Christmas stuff at St. Vincent's. All right. I'm going to save, not the best for last, but I need a sip of my Sanka. I love this mug. I might steal it, Aaron. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, one of the first places I went to when I went here was the Antique Gallery of Mesquite. And I've always loved that they have one in Round Rock that's my favorite, and they also have one in Louisville. But anyways, this is where Matthew and Aaron have their antique booth and I got to see it for the first time and it's really really nice just check it out but I just found a boyfriend there I did hey they're snooping in my to-go bags Pilt. is that Pilt? he's on my shirt you can't see oh. those are wrinkles not folds anyways Hawaiian fun Barbie it's Ken I believe this is from 19, 1991, here he is, and he has also had a Barbie's girlfriend there. I didn't buy her, because he's going to be my boyfriend. Is that creepy? 
anyways, I'm just kidding. But I thought he looked super cute, and he'll go with my other things. I, just, I don't know. I just like how he is from Hawaii. $10. Boys. I'm doing a video. All right, y'all are going to have to listen to that. Sorry. Give me a like button for being a babysitter. We had great fun. All right. <laughs> I don't know if I should pause here. The only other thing I got it. Oh, I actually got some good stuff at this antique mall. You know I collect You Are Here Starbucks mugs. I already have this Veil Colorado. My friend Hayden gave it to me when he went. So this was four bucks, and I think... You know, I have a lot of empty boxes of these around. Uh, I'm hoping with the box I can sell it for 25 so a little arbitrage, arbitrage. This was so cute. This is one of the booths that goes towards pets. It was half off, so half off of five. It was $2 as much as I want to keep this because I love fruit and anthropomorphic stuff. 1967. Um, I think I might list this, but I might keep it. I don't know. All right, they have a 25 cent booth and this thing is called Starry. I believe it's some sort of hub or internet thing, but I did test it. This does turn on. It was 25 cents, I hope it works, but I'm gonna, I saw one selling for 25, so I wanna turn a quarter into 20 bucks profit. We'll see. I might lose money and they might say, oh, it doesn't work. I could list for not work. Um, just for parts. We'll see. Last thing I got at the antique gallery at Mesquite was this. If you can't tell by the sticker, this is Blanco. And I don't find a lot of, well, I do find Blanco, but this one just stood out. To me, it looked like a piece of cheese at first, and I thought it was cute. This is actually, I believe, someone called it pinwheels. And I did research, and this has a rough pontal mark. The pontal is where the glass is blown out of and snapped off the rod. And on my Blanco Collectors group, I searched rough pontal because I didn't know if that made it less quality and it doesn't, which I was surprised. Now, I saw one on eBay with the spout, like a pitcher. This is not a pitcher. I don't know if they, I think they would just consider this a vase. It's Amberina. I paid $39. So, 40 something dollars with tax. But the only other ones I saw, I saw one on Cherish that was also a pitcher. Both of them on Cherish and eBay sold, for, I mean, it shows listed for 175 So, I'm thinking about actually buying this to list for 200 and see what happens. I'm actually going to post it on the Blanco Collector's site because the only other Blanco things I have it are little trinket dishes or they're not ashtrays but anyways I thought it looked interesting and I don't have much Amberina so it's from a good company I believe they said it was 80s or 90s or actually 2005 might be the range and I actually know the guy I just forgot but a certain designer is attributed to this so at least I have those keywords, and yes, there's the sticker. But I think that the people said that that sticker date it from the two, early 2000s, but still. So, yeah, I paid up for it, and I just I was just drawn to it. I don't know why. It's definitely worth the $40, but I think it's worth at least 100 like I said. But we'll see. Let me know if you know anything about Blanco in the comments below. All right, I have two big hauls, but before I get to that, there's a few other things. I made a Mondo Tiki order with my brother. They had a buy one, get one sale. So I, I ended up getting one of two, two of the regular glaze because I wanted the, the multicolored. And these are Aaron's. I pulled them out of his Tiki closet because he showed me where they were. But I wanted to show you without getting them out of my boxes. This Aaron got a skeleton glaze, which I kind of wish I got. But I, but I did buy two to sell one of them. So here is the glaze I got. And I just really like them both. So yeah, 
I forgot how much they were. They were like $28 maybe. Thought it was buy one, get one free. Oh, and Aaron was doing live sales on Pop-Up Live or something like that. And I wanted these. And so he gave me them because he had a big pack. So very cool. He also gave me this. I love Guinness advertising. And these, because I wanted these. He had extra swizzles and toothpicks. And he gave me a swizzle stick from Swizzle. I got to go to the Tiki Bar Swizzle in Dallas for the first time. They opened up in November. They actually had their grand opening yesterday, but I couldn't go yesterday. But I loved it, and I got a shirt. This was $25. It's kind of simple, but I want to rep it, and maybe Tiki people would, would recognize it. That's kind of why I bought it. I want to make new Tiki friends. And I want to support the bar. Really nice people. I didn't get to meet one of the owners, Jenna Tonic, but hi, if you see this, I love your bar. Let's see what else. Before I get to the two bigger hauls, smash that like button. No, I'm just kidding, but please do subscribe. I went to Garland Road Thrift. Now it's called Prime Thrift or something like this. Last year during this time, I sold so many puzzles because the pandemic was still going on. Still kind of going on, you know, but anyways, this was $1.91 and I got 25 cents off. I mean, 25% off for being a teacher. I don't think I ever had this one. Kind of want to put it together and frame it, but we'll see. I might sell it. Also, this is random, but for $1.91, this is Britney Spears. And it smelled good, and I like the bottle, so I just got it. Britney Spears Believe. So, I don't do drag anymore. In fact, I barely ever did drag. But I like having women scents. And, you know, I collect perfume bottles anyways. And I know it sounds weird, but if I ever do drag again, I want, you know, women's perfume to put on. So, yeah. That's something about me. I just used to dress up like Gaga. I also got a double bubble mug at another place. I think it was Cost of You or Value World, but it was only 40 cents. I don't know. Love that. Oh, here's the last thing I got at Garland Road. It's Lipton. And they had another one. It had damage, but I did not see any like this. But a lot of other Lipton things sell. So for a dollar, I was like, I might keep it. I might list it. So, All right, let's go to the thrift hmm what is it called it was a thrift giant by st vincent's and i was with my mom and i i didn't find anything the only thing i was going to get is the captain underpants collection this was four dollars and this is trending at 25 so that's an easy thing to list and make maybe 15 dollars so that's a nice little profit and that should pay for these two boxes that i got I got two boxes. One was $6.99, one was $4.99. And I got them because these little kitchen fairies were mixed in between both bags. So let's look what these little kitchen fairies. You would think I would know what they are, but I hadn't heard of them, but I'm like, they are holding food. And I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And turns out it's a Nesco. A Nesco is very collector, collectible for certain things, and these are one of them. I noticed that all of these kitchen fairies go for at least 20 to 40 bucks. I didn't see solds too much above 40, but some people have them listed high. A lot of them listed for 100, 60, 70. But remember, we check solds. But unfortunately, four of these are undamaged, and the other four are damaged but some of them are very min minimally so let's talk about them i hoped that these two which are my favorite which i'm tempted to keep but i won't um i hope they were undamaged and they were so this one is called by the way the little kitchen fairies pretzel fairy this one sells for like 30 dollars, and this one sold the most for 36 and a lot of people put these up as bids i might just do buy it now this one's called Ice Cream Fairy. I, this is just my favorite. It's so cute. Look at the little bowl. All right. This lady's just kind of hanging out. This girl, Apple Picker Fairy. She picked too many. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I didn't even see this one because it was in the grab box, like I said. Oh, man. I hope this comes out. I just noticed that she's bleeding. 
This is Loot Fairy. So this one will definitely sell for more than $25. So yeah, I spent $12 on the two boxes and the just one of these alone will pay for it. All right, let's look at the other ones. This one is called Oven Mitt Camper Fairy. It's in pretty good shape. Only a little thing of her pigtail is broken. So I think I can still get good money because you can't really tell. Again, 20 to $25. I was thinking about also if I get really, I don't know, I like auctions, but I don't do a lot of them. I think if I were to lot the four damaged ones together, that might be a bad idea. Let me know what you think. But I could make at least 50 bucks. And I'd be happy with that. But unfortunately, this really cute one, it's called like break time. The spoon is damaged. So anyways, oh, I can't forget. This trowel goes to the gardener. Look at her and her chrysanthemums. Oh, yeah, so she's got two things broken. She got her pigtail broken. And yeah, she's not in great shape. But anyway, she's missing her shovel handle. But I could glue those together and just disclose it. And last but not least, there's another apple one. Apple of my eye fairy. So anyways, Bolo Alert, Inesco, my kit uh, little kitchen fairies. I was just thought it was a really cool pickup because I, I don't really ever see them. You would think I would. Let's see what else I might keep or list from the two, the boxes. This is cute. Could get a little bit of money. It's a ring holder. I've had something like this. There's a shoe. This is super cute. Look at this little chicken pulling a little cart of eggs. And look at these bells. I'm definitely keeping this little caterpillar. And I thought it was cool. The shells were like this. I like how it's displayed. They look nice together. That was a nice surprise. And I'm gonna list this, won't get, make much. Just a little horse trinket box. And I loved these little clay elephants. I'm gonna get, list them as a lot. And these little hats are great little ornaments. First I thought they were mini hats for dolls or something like that, because I actually have one listed and I've sold one before. They're just ornaments, so I'm gonna list them. There's Four little chocolate bonbon candles. I love it. And I was happy to find a Bluebird of Paradise in the more expensive box. And it's signed. And I was just about to list my Bluebirds of Paradise. I might just lot them together. We'll see. And I actually don't think I have this Avon. And this was a surprise. So that was nice. I have a lot of cat Avons. Those are the only ones I really hold on to almost. So that was really cute. And these I'm going to lot list together maybe for 12 15 bucks it spells out like um ladybug fly away home ladybug they're just four little plates and i can definitely list these little napkin rings there's four of them they're wooden leaves i wanted to show you this girl it's kind of creepy come on baby she's just very oh she is doing an exorcist thing right now Okay, we'll, we'll hold on to her. We'll, uh, we'll doctor her up. There's Raggedy Ann and Andy. And they're just chilling. And it, they're just kind of cheap figures. Probably made in China or Hong Kong. Because they're obviously vintage. Because they, they didn't remake that series. But I could list those for cheap. Now that I have a thousand items that I, need, I can list in my store, I need to fill it up. This was like... Other things in the boxes that are not worth selling or keeping, just broken bells. I don't know what this is. Was it a shell? I don't know. It's not. No, it's like a broken resin thing. I don't know. But little bird bath. Anyways, there's a cool little alligator, but he does. He's missing an eye. Oh, there's the bird bath. Bird bath angel. I'm gonna see if my mom wants her. But yeah, that was a nice little haul. Thanks for continuing to watch. I'm not done yet. Here is a really awesome estate sale haul that I got. I went to three estate sales. I only found good stuff. 
on the last one it was the last two hours and they just wanted to get rid of everything it was 75 percent off i went estate sailing because i saw there was a hula lamp that still hulas those are worth really good money and unfortunately it was the last day of the sale so it probably sold on the first day but this estate sale was 75 percent off and i got six arby's glasses i love these stained glass five dollars each so it was 750 for all six i'm probably gonna keep two of them and you know what they're not really worth selling to be honest so i'm just gonna keep them i might give aaron some but let's see the only other thing i bought at full price well, not full price but oh my gosh i love this so much Oh, I, and I looked up his name. He's from Starkiss Tuna. It's not Stormy. I'll, maybe I'll put in the comments what he's called. But instead of $10, he was $2.50. Now, these aren't worth that much. I thought it would be, but... I mean, I, not a lot, but... Oh, I did find stuff at another estate sale. I got a pet carrier from my mom. And I got two of these Heinz tomato ketchup bottles. And they are the 120th anniversary... 1989 that's my birth year and i got two of them for a dollar so they they only sell for about five but i just wanted one so she gave me both for a dollar great deal let's go back to the state sale so i spent not a lot of money on those glasses basically ten dollars total for the arby's glasses and the tuna and i was walking around and she gave me a bag and she said put all the stuff in your arms in a bag and then go to the garage and fill it up for $10. And I kind of didn't want to because everything was 75% off. It was probably cheaper, but I just went with it because, yeah. But I'm going to still make money because on this book alone, Good Fairies, it's a really cool fairy book. I am going to get, oh, is it? Oh, the cover. No. Hmm. Oh, the other side is bad fairies, and the other side is good fairies. Well, I think this book is trending for about $30. So, I was going to buy it for like a dollar, but she put it in that bag. I also filled this up with crochet, oh, embroidery floss for my grandma. I just visited her. She embroiders. I'm like, well, if I'm going to, if I need to find stuff to fill this bag, and I did fill it up, I'm going to get some floss for her. I know that's not too expensive, but still. I wanted this Hellman's mayonnaise jar. I'll probably throw away these elastic things. I mean, donate them. Unfortunately, someone made this into a candle. Oh, there's more floss. Glad I checked. But I can still clean it up and make it a candle for Christmas. I have a lot of these glasses. Inspired by Holt Howard, it's Dairy Queen. I never find the actual Holt Howard ones. But the reason why I have my Sanka, well, Aaron's Sanka mug out is because I found this. And I love this Sanka tin. And I love that it's the blue one. You don't see the blue one as often as a brown. So, I love that. So, I saw this alone sold for $10. So, eh, I spent $10 on this bag. I also wanted this marinated artichoke hearts. I don't know why. It has buttons. How do y'all say buttons? I say buttons, but a lot of people say button. Got this little cute little mouse. Now this is Eau de Tomps or something like that. And this is what my mom used to wear. Still kind of does every once in a while. But I collect cologne, I mean perfume and cologne bottles. And this one reminds me of my mom. And I don't think that this is broken. Hmm. I just now realize that. No, that's this tail. Anyways, I have a little bit of her cologne. Perfume. And I had to scoop up this little hedgehog. <laughs> True Texan. I don't know why. I, again, I was stuffing a bag. My mom actually has this already. She showed me. But it's a double light switch. And she's actually changing hers out. So she's going to give me the double light switch. And I'm going to lot it with this one. Sell it on eBay. This is really cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it's an owl and mushrooms. And I just threw in some napkins. They're Hallmark. I'll probably just use these to be honest. We'll see. Again, I was filling up a bag because I was kind of mad because I, I was like, I'm going to have to spend more money doing this $10 thing. But I threw in a couple patterns, aprons. I don't know if they're... 
they're worth much, but I found two Western partners, same ones, but different sizes. Oh, by the way, if you like patterns, go check out Stephanie Canada on YouTube. All right, let's see. Is that all from the haul? Oh, can't forget. I found this, th this, I was gonna get these for like two or three bucks, but that she put them in the bag. So here is not a lot, but it's like a bamboo. And again, um, they recently had a fabric thrifty business. I think my brother also co-hosted, which is cool. Just a little bit of fabric of that, but there's more of this, and this is very Hawaiian. I believe those are hibiscus flowers. I wanna say it's about three yards, but it's, it's from the Madison Avenue Designs home collection, and I think I can make 20 to $30 at least. I actually saw two pillows on one of the couches that they were selling. I mean, yeah, at the estate sale. So she made pillows. And what Jason T. Smith said was, you know, even if it's not a lot of fabric, tiki people love to, you know, make couch cushions and pillows with this kind of fabric. So that's just enough. I mean, this is enough to do two pillows for sure. So I thought that was cool how I picked up some fabric from the penultimate thrifty business and Christmas items. So definitely try to put things that people teach you into practice. Oh, and this fabric, sorry, last but not least. Again, I, I normally don't buy fabric, but Aaron's stores have a lot of good fabric. This is Calhoun Sportswear, and I saw some fabric sell for $30. Now, this isn't a whole lot of fabric, but it was less than $4. It's actually $3. It's cute, and that can make some cute things. Again, people are still probably making face masks. Probably not too much, but people still are. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I had a great time here in Dallas, Texas, as always, my hometown. Please like and comment and tell me what you liked, and... I will see you again in the next video. Bye, everybody. Real quick, this was also in the $10 lot, and I could actually sell this for about $10. It's from Guns, and there's just a bunch of things like this. So I threw it in the $10 bag at the estate sale. Yay! Oh, and I didn't show you the little mushrooms, did I? Bye-bye!